Don't turn it over just yet. That's so you could have named any card. Yeah. What card did you name? I just named the Jack of Diamonds. And what number? 32? 32. Turn it over. <laughs> what is up guys? Chris Ramsey here and welcome back to another edition of Vlog. This week I just got back from California actually yesterday and I brought with me some really ridiculously cool footage for you guys to check out. All right, so we just found the 6th Street Bridge on Santa Fe. And down here is where you have the LA River or where the Dry River is. And we're gonna get in there and take some photos, but we're pretty sure it's hyper illegal. All right, so right now we're in the LA River bed. They can totally bust us at any second right now. What do you think, Adam? We'll do it until we get kicked out, I guess. Better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. All right, we're almost wrapped up for the day. Mikey being a beast on the camera. If you guys don't know who Mikey is, Mikey is one of our amazing graphic designers, but he's also a professional photographer. So a lot of photos you see, a lot of graphic designs, a lot of the site, a lot of the cards we make. It's because of this guy here. So you guys gotta show up some love in the comments. Uh, we also are going to announce the winners of the contest that we had in collaboration with Jack Nabil and his channel, as well as the contest winners from the last episode. And we'll tell you this week how to win some more prizes. So stay tuned for that. It was quite the trip. We got a lot done. This is a really big project that we're working on. I can't talk about it right now, but I can't wait to share it with you guys. One of the really cool perks about working for Illusionist is I get to travel quite a bit. I get to hang out with friends all across the world that share the same passion as me, which is really, really cool and uh, last week was no exception. So we were flown out to LA for this shoot and we got a pretty nice surprise when we got to, uh, when we got to our house that we were staying in. So take a look. Hello. What's up guys? Welcome to Casa de Illusionist for the week. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the residence. So follow me. This is uh, one of the bedrooms up in here. We're just gonna go ahead and walk her in. It's where you enter that hip hop beast, the boom, boom, and the cuts. The game room. This, this is where it all goes down. This is where it all happens. This is where the scores get settled. So if ever you have a problem and you need it resolved, this is where it goes down. I'll come this way, I'll bring you guys into the kitchen. So obviously this wouldn't be a complete episode of Cribs without showing you what we got going on in the fridge. So have a look. Look at this, we got our favorite sweet relish. We got world famous spiracha hot sauce and some really sick uh, bacon. That's about it. Oh, apple cider vinegar. All right guys, now that you've seen the crib, you've seen the pool, you've seen the ping pong table, you've seen everything we have to show you, but we gotta get back to work. So I don't mean to be rude, but you guys need to get the f out of here. Peace. So that was a crib's tour of our home. I know, right? Not too shabby. Uh, whilst we were down there, we headed down to Venice Beach and shot some footage, got some reaction footage and stuff like that, as well as some photos. So check out some of what went on while we were down there. All right, so we're taking off and we're going to Venice Beach on our first day to take some photos, do a little photo shoot with the boys. Adam, where are we at?
So we're on, uh, we're in, where are we? We're doing Venice Beach, we're doing magic. We're doing magic for humans. We got film hookup, and we just we just finished performing for like a bunch of crazy crowds, and everybody here is super chill and really loving, so they love magic, so guess what? We're gonna go do some more. This time Pete's gonna get in front of the camera. What? what? No. Hell yeah, no. Pete. No, it's not. Yeah. Do you think, no, it's happening. Do you think, Pabsy? I'm gonna do the Blackpool prediction <laughs> for as many people as I can. <laughs> Yeah, well, you do me a favor. Yeah. There's uh, 52 cards in the deck. I'm going to rip my finger through. All right. I want you to just see one. Come here and stop. Okay? Just come here and stop anywhere. Somewhere between the bottom and the top would be ideal. We can, we can go over and over. It's fine. It's good. Yeah, so let's do it one more time. Uh, you got to say stop. Keep going, keep going. But at any moment, I mean, I could, I could just stop for you. I could just grab some birds. Um, yeah. Alright. Here, we'll go fast. We'll go fast. Just yeah, go stop. fast. Boom. Ready, ready? Ready? Go. Boom. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. There you go. Alright. I was already done. <laughs> Here. We'll time it. Slow. We'll time it. Ready? One, two, three. Here's the ripple. Say stop anywhere. Stop. Right there. You got it? Look, look at the card. Look at the card. Look at it. Look at it. You know what it is? Yeah. You got it. It wasn't the bottom card, right? It wasn't the four of spades. Okay, so it was a four then, wasn't it? The way you were looking. Yeah. It was a four, wasn't it? <laughs> What's your star sign? Oh, I'll see. Born somewhere around January. Four of diamonds. January is four of diamonds. That's the one we're looking at, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> Wicked. All right. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the f that just was. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> Got two heads. Five and under, get in free. What's going on over there, Adam? Who makes the mirror? Johnny. I've never seen it before. Roll the camera. This guy. This is We got a hustle going on right here. Oh, they're getting hustled in. <laughs> so that was Venice Beach. Pretty, but a lot of colorful characters on Venice Beach, but uh, we got some really good footage, great reactions, and it was a hell of a good time. That about wraps up the whole LA trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Let's announce the winners of the contest. So let's start off with the contest that we had uh, on last week's episode for a $20 gift certificate to illusionist.com, and the winner of that is Ty Baker. Ty Baker, congratulations. Hit me up on Instagram, ChrisRanzi52, DM me, and I'll get your contact info. We also had a collaboration contest with Jack Nabil, who's an Italian YouTuber and magician. He's a phenomenal guy, he's really funny, his channel's great, and uh, we had an enormous response. Something like 9,000 people uh, tried to win this brick of cards. We were giving away a brick of cards. And uh, I'll announce it in Italian so that everybody can understand, uh, all those who are involved. Um, il vincitore del concorso Jack Nobile e Davide Temussi. Congratulations Davide. Um, mandarmi un messaggio su Instagram and uh, I'll get you your prize. So congratulations to Davide and congratulations to Ty. If you guys want to win this week's contest, I'm going to give you two opportunities to do so. The first, simply like this video and throw me a comment below on what you thought, what your favorite part of the video was. Uh, we'll pick a random winner next episode to take home one gift certificate and we'll be bringing back Feature Me E-Log. I know I've been kind of distant and I've kind of ignored it, but I've had so much footage and I didn't want to make these videos half an hour long. So we'll be bringing back Feature Me E-Log. So head over to Instagram, film yourself doing the most fooling performance that you could possibly do in under a minute and hashtag it 
feature me e-log and give Illusionist a tag if you'd like us to see it quicker. But if you don't put up that hashtag, we won't see it. Not only will you win a gift certificate if we choose you, but we'll also feature you on the next episode of E-Log. And we're, we'll bring back some Ramsey's rants, I suppose. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Cool optical illusion with three ropes. It's a small, a medium, and a long. Now, if I came out on stage like this and said I had three ropes the same length, you would think I was a few sandwiches short of a picnic and rightfully so, right? But a cool illusion is if you take the ends, try and get the ends just right, so you separate the three ends and the three middles, again, not a great illusion. All I have to do is take the long middle and tuck it in. Now if I walk out and say I have three pieces the same length, we can justify You see three middles and six ends. It gets better when you snap, pull apart, and they become one, two, three pieces the same length. It's a lot more impressive not harder to figure out. The cool part is if I take just the two ends, well it's four, I snap it becomes two, and now we've got one long piece. Well, hold on, let's take actually the ends, blow them off, and now I've got a rope with the ends and ends with the rope. Let's try this again. We'll take the ends, put them back on blow, and now we should have the long. This is confusing. Let me we'll take the middle, the invisible scissor it, it's a magic term. Get it just right. Now we've got the three pieces of rope just like when we started the same length. But if you remember, when we started, we didn't have three pieces the same length. We had three pieces, but they looked like uh, a small, a medium. Oh my god. That was sensational. Here, two diamonds. <laughs> Alright, so. Two diamonds. The reason I like to do that is so that way I can control the situation. Because if I had you pick one at random, just grab any one. See, now you're in control. And now you're picking the two of diamonds on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <That's nice>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my show. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable.